The Indian Army is set to add 25 remote-controlled mule robotic dogs to its ranks. These robotic dogs are designed to assist soldiers in carrying out various tasks in difficult terrains. The mule robotic dogs are part of a broader initiative by the Defense Research and Development Organization to integrate advanced robotics and artificial intelligence into military operations. The name Mule stands for Multi-Utility Legged Equipment. This name reflects the purpose of these robots perfectly, as they are designed to be versatile and capable of performing multiple tasks, much like how a traditional mule is used for various forms of transport and labor. The mule robotic dogs can perform several crucial tasks for the Indian Army. Equipped with advanced cameras and sensors, these robotic dogs can conduct surveillance missions. They can monitor areas for extended periods and relay real-time data back to command centers, helping in gathering intelligence and monitoring enemy movements. These robots can also be deployed for reconnaissance missions in hostile or inaccessible areas. Their ability to navigate tough terrains makes them ideal for scouting missions, providing valuable information about the terrain and enemy positions without putting human soldiers at risk. Additionally, mule robotic dogs are equipped with tools and technologies for bomb disposal. They can safely locate, handle, and neutralize improvised explosive devices and other hazardous materials, ensuring the safety of personnel and reducing the risk of casualties during bomb disposal operations. Currently, the mule robotic dogs are primarily used for surveillance, reconnaissance, and bomb disposal. However, they have the capability to be armed with small arms for future combat roles. These arms can be used to engage enemy positions, keeping soldiers at a safer distance during confrontations. The possibility of arming these robotic dogs adds a significant layer of versatility to their deployment, allowing them to support a wider range of military operations in the future. The mule robots can carry heavy loads, which helps reduce the physical burden on soldiers, allowing them to move more efficiently and with greater speed. These mule robotic dogs can operate for several hours on a single battery charge, providing sustained support during missions. They are designed for long-duration operations, ensuring that they can be deployed effectively without frequent recharging. The range of their remote control or autonomous operation varies depending on the mode of communication used. For short-range missions, they can be controlled via Wi-Fi, while for longer-range operations, they utilize long-term evolution communications, allowing for remote control up to 10 kilometers away from the operator. Other countries are also developing similar robotic dog technologies for their militaries. For example, the United States has been working on robotic systems like the Legged Squad Support System developed by Boston Dynamics, designed to carry gear and supplies for soldiers. China has also showcased various types of robotic dogs capable of performing military tasks, including armed reconnaissance and support roles. Comparing the Indian Army's mule program to these other efforts, the Indian mules are on par with international advancements in terms of functionality and deployment capabilities. While the US and China might have a slight edge in terms of advanced AI integration and funding, the Indian mule program demonstrates significant strides in adopting cutting-edge technology to meet the specific needs of the Indian Army. The focus on adaptability to diverse terrains and potential for armament makes the Indian mules competitive in the global arena of military robotics. The development and deployment of these robotic dogs are a testament to the advances in military technology and the growing importance of unmanned systems in modern warfare. These innovations not only enhance the efficiency of military operations but also significantly improve the safety and effectiveness of soldiers in the field. That's all for today's update. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more updates on defense news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.